Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11, two different installs of macOS, Sequoia and Sonoma, on an NVMe. So you can have three operating systems on one NVMe, and I'm also going to have OpenCore installed on the NVMe. It took me a long time to figure this out. Please give me the thumbs up if this helps you out. I stayed up almost all night last night trying to do this very groggy today. I couldn't get it to work. I finally figured it out. I think I've got a foolproof way and we're going to see because I'm going to just for you guys completely erase all the work I did last night and start from scratch. And I'm using a team group two terabyte NVMe. These are very reasonably priced. I'll leave the link in the description. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on my link, it helps out my channel. First up, I'm booted in Mojave at the moment. Now you could be booted in Monterey, in Sequoia. It doesn't really matter. I've opened Disk Utility. Let's look over here. Okay, so here is my NVMe with three different OS drives. And I'm going to erase this and do this from scratch so I can show you the best way to go about installing Windows and then two versions of Mac OS on the same NVMe. Step one is to format your NVMe in GUID and XFAT. We're gonna format the entire drive in XFAT. So we're gonna hit erase. This is all my work is going bye-bye kids. And we are gonna select XFAT, okay? GUID partition map and we're just going to leave it called untitled and we're going to hit <laughs> erase bye bye windows I hope it works again and we're just erasing everything I'm speeding this up a little bit and there it is our untitled disk xfat now what we're going to do is we're going to go partition this so we have two more spots to put Mac OS aside from Windows. Again, we're formatting the entire drive in XFAT first. Then we're gonna come up here and hit partition. And we're going to go to APFS and we're gonna select a certain amount of gigabytes. We're gonna say 600 gigs. Well, we'll just call this Sonoma. And that's, you can see the partition there. Now. When I do this again to add the next one, it's gonna split that in half. It's gonna split the Sonoma in half. So I'm gonna add another one and we're gonna name this Sequoia. Um, so we're gonna go change this by dragging that and the Windows is gonna be 750 basically, okay? So we got Untitled for Windows, we got Sonoma and we got Sequoia. And now we're gonna hit Apply. Partition, and away it goes. It's gonna do its thing. The first thing we wanna do is install Windows before we add Mac OS to those other partitions. And that's the way I got this to work. If you try and do it the other way around, Windows fails on the install and it will drive you crazy. Okay, we're done. And we're just gonna look over here, there's Sequoia. There is Sonoma, and there is our Untitled for Windows. And this is my thumb drive that's ready to install Windows. First step in installing Windows, of course, is you have to create a bootable thumb drive. Watch my video on this. I'm not gonna get into it all here because it'll just take way too long, but I have a video that I've already made showing you how to build your bootable Windows 11 thumb drive using Rufus. And we're gonna quit Disk Utility now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is boot up into my Mojave disk, but you can use whatever disk you have that's running OpenCore Legacy Patcher. If it's a later system, you can use that. But we're gonna reinstall OpenCore Legacy Patcher onto the NVMe. 
Another important note is you got to use a wired keyboard and mouse and be connected via Ethernet. You may lose Wi-Fi and that can screw up your install. You may lose your Bluetooth connection with your keyboard and mouse, especially when you're installing OpenCore. You need to have a USB 2.0 hub plugged into one of the Mac Pro 5.1's USB ports if you're using one of those original keyboards. I have this keyboard, which is actually a USB 2. So I can plug my mouse into that and that into the Mac Pro and it just works because it's USB 2.0. But if you have the older keyboard, you gotta use a USB 2.0 or later hub. Come on, Moave. Okay, now that's enabled GOP you're seeing and it should find the Mojave drive. I would have thought I'd find it by now. Ah, so we're gonna install OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Where are you? There you are. Build and install OpenCore. Install to disk, and we want to install it on the NVMe, two terabytes. Mounts the EFI, reboot. Man, it does it fast. And we got to hold the option key, and this is when you bless OpenCore. Now we're going to boot into the OpenCore bootloader and select our EFI boot. Make sure to quickly arrow over to the EFI boot or click on it with your mouse. You don't want it to try and boot back into Mojave. That is going to bless OpenCore on the NVMe. And now the computer is going to try and boot into my Mojave drive, but it can't. Mojave is not supported by OpenCore Legacy Patcher. So now we just want to shut down the computer and remove all drives, but the NVMe and the thumb drive, those should be the only things attached to the computer. I pulled out my two drives. This is my Mojave drive. This was my Sonoma drive. Neither one of these have OpenCore Legacy Patcher on them. The OpenCore Legacy Patcher is on the NVMe. Now we're gonna boot into the Windows installer thumb drive. So I plugged in the thumb drive and we're booting up. And now there's no OS in the Mac, only Windows bootable thumb drive. That is the system we're gonna be booting off of. Now that OpenCore is blessed on the NVMe, it's amazing how you can beat the hell out of these Mac Pros, reboot them, reboot them a million zillion times, and they pretty much just keep on going. They're like the energizer of computers. Built like a tank, last forever. At least mine has. All right, there is our installer. That is our only system in the computer at the moment, is the thumb drive. And now we're gonna see, fingers crossed, we're gonna install Windows 11 onto the NVMe on the partition that we created for Windows. Now it's formatted in XFAT. The Windows installer is gonna reformat it. That does not erase OpenCore. Install now. And of course, this is a slightly lengthy process, but there's a very important part of this which is coming up. I don't have a product key at the moment. You can just skip that. And we're gonna pick Windows 11 Pro. I accept your challenge. Now here we have to select Customize Install Windows Only, Advanced, because this is just for upgrading an already pre-existing Windows. So here's our NVMe and the four partitions. It's got the OpenCore EFI, the two Mac partitions, and it's got the Windows partition. A lot of it has to do with where your drives are located. If my Mojave drive was in there, it would be drive zero, and then the NVMe would be drive one with the partitions. That's part of the issue. You got to get rid of your other drives. It only wants to see one drive. You can see the little exclamation point, Windows can't be installed on drive zero partition four. You have to delete the partition that you want to install Windows on. And you can see this one is 700 gigs. The other two are the smaller ones for Mac OS. And it's still XFAT, whereas the other two are APFS. And it helps to make your Windows partition a different size than the Mac OS partition. So you know which is which. All right, we're gonna delete our partition. Delete, and the can't install warning disappeared. And it now says unallocated space. Next, and that's what you want. Why you have to do this, it's beyond me. And we're just gonna speed up the video a little bit. So I guess Windows just went in and reformatted the partition 
for me. I didn't have to format it in NTFS. It just does it. But first, you have to delete that partition. That is very important. If you don't do that, you're going to get an error. But first, my mistake late last night. So here I am last night thinking I figured it out, but I still have my other two SATA drives installed with Mojave and Sonoma. I think I'm getting there and then, oh no, error right at the end when it's gonna reboot. Thankfully, Windows takes way less time to install than Mac OS. It's still a process, but once it gets through this, and it reboots, you're in the clear. If you get an error, I was getting an error right at finishing up, which is the final thing it shows on the screen there. And it was making me crazy. And I have a hard time giving up on computers when there's something wrong with it. I can't sleep until I figure it out and fix the problem. So we're moving along here. We're doing all right. We're gonna speed this up. All right. We're rebooting. That means we made it. So, second time around, it worked. Okay, now we're gonna boot into Windows, not the installer. All right, now it's booting off the NVMe. And then it's gonna do several reboots, just like Mac OS does, but not as many. I'm relieved that I am now able to recreate this so the next steps are just to finish the Windows install and then install Mac OS, whatever one you want, on the other APFS partitions. Yeah, take that, Windows! And it's a lengthy process. Now there's other tricks that you need to know about Windows. With this method and using OpenCore, you don't need boot camp whatsoever. You can install the Bootcamp drivers, but you don't want to install Bootcamp's AMD drivers. They're generic Apple ones, and they're no good. You want to install AMD's Adrenaline drivers for your AMD GPU. All right, we're back to Windows. We're going to go back into Windows. It's going to finish installing. It worked. Almost there. Ta-da! There it is, folks. I'm not going to do any more Windows stuff now. I'm just showing you that this is how you get it installed. Let's get to Mac OS. We're going to shut this down. Windows is good to go. And yeah, shut her down. Okay, so jumping forward, I already installed Sonoma on the Sonoma partition. And now I'm going to move forward and install Sequoia. And I'm going to download the Mac OS installer. I am not going to build another thumb drive. I don't need to. I have OpenCore Legacy Patcher installed on the NVMe. I have Sonoma on my other partition. Now I've got one partition left to install Sequoia on. So I'm just going to download the installer, install it onto the Sequoia partition, and then I'm going to run the post patches after the installation is done. And then I'm done. I got Windows 11, I got Sonoma, and I got Sequoia all on one NVMe. So this is what my OpenCore Legacy Patcher bootloader looks like now on my Mac Pro 5.1. I got Windows, I got Sonoma, I got Sequoia. Those are all on the NVMe. Then I've got Beta Sequoia on an SSD in one of the SATA bays, and I've got Mojave in the other SATA bay. So I've got five different systems in my Mac Pro 5.1. Pretty cool. So I thought it'd be nice to have a summary at the end of the video of all the steps to do this so you don't have to watch the video over and over. You can just come to this part of the video and learn how to do it, follow the steps, and hopefully it all works for you. So please subscribe to my channel, give me that thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.